Hello, my name is Maya, and I am 10 years old. I live with my mama, my papa, and my baby sister. I live in a very big house. My papa says it's going to be even bigger. I came here when I was a little baby too, before my sister was even born. It was a nice house on the hill. I would count the birds and look at the trees and make graphs of how many different species I saw. There were a lot. I don't have many friends here, and my baby sister is quite boring. My mama likes to sit with me, but my papa is really busy building. Papa lets some people in our big house sometimes. He says that they can lie down on our beds, and we get money for it. Some of the strangers I see are really nice, but I don't see them for very long. Papa says it's because they only live here for a few days before they go back to their own beds. I saw a funny lady once who was staying in a room that used to be my baby sister's. Her name was really hard to say, so she let me call her lady. She gave me sweets. She let me sit on her lap and she would tell me about her home. She said to me that I'm going to grow up to be a lovely young woman. Her sweets were from somewhere that I don't know, but they tasted really good. Sometimes at night, I hear Papa outside in the garden. I see a light that shines through my window when I'm trying to sleep, and I hear banging noises on my wall. Papa says because the house is very old, it needs maintenance. He has a spade and a big drill with a yellow handle. Sometimes he makes the grass all messy and dirty, and I fall over when I play outside. Mama says I can't come in some rooms of the house. She always pushes her arms out in front of me and picks me up. She says because I like to run around, I could hurt myself but the rooms look exactly the same. The door to the one room looks just like the one Lady stayed in, but I haven't seen Lady in a long time. I haven't seen a lot of people in a long time. Mama said Lady went home, but she left all of her things behind. I saw her white bag on the floor, and it still had some sweets in it. Mama cries a lot. She only cries when Papa is building and making lots of noise. I want to be a good dumpling and help feed my baby sister because Mama's arms are red and she can't walk very well. She says it's because she hurt herself helping Papa build his rooms for the people. Her skin looks very icky. The doors in the new room that Papa's building don't work. I was naughty and I jumped over the string he put there to keep me out. I wanted to open the one that looked like Lady's room, but the handle doesn't do anything. It looks like a handle stuck to a wall. I don't see a door, I don't think. There's a hole at the top, but I'm too small to look through it. The wall is painted like a door, but I can't open it. Papa is building a second attic. I think it's what it is, because I see him up high on a roof. It looks the same as the first one, and I don't know why we need two. I try to ask mom, but she cries all the time, so I don't do that anymore. When I look out my window, it looks like another one of my house. It has the same amount of pointy roofs and windows. I tried to get a stool to look through the hole in the fake door, but Papa saw me one night. He hit me. He was very angry and made my arms red like Mama. I cried a lot like Mama too. He said that he would lock me in there if I ever climbed over a string again. But in the new hallways Papa was building, I didn't see any doors. It was all flat walls and paint. 
that looked like you could open it. So I don't know how he would do that. I played in the garden without Mama today. She's in bed now and she needs to rest a lot. The ground is bumpy and I'm cold all the time. I miss when Lady would pick me up and show me the flowers. They're all brown now. I still have some of her sweets, but I don't want to eat them. I want to eat them with her when she comes back to pick up her bag. Papa is working on the second attic again. I can see him out of my dark window. So I got on the stool and looked up through the door hole. I had to press my face against the wall because it was a really small hole. Lady was in there. She was lying in my old baby sister's room that looked exactly the same. I wanted to open the wall and let her out, but I couldn't. So I knocked on it like it was a door. I could see her looking at me in the dark, but I think she was still sleeping. Her mouth was open. I think she missed me too. There are a lot of hallways now. There are more every week. And all the doors look the same. I sneak past Papa on my stool. And I see lots of people through the dark holes. I want to wake them up. But I can't shout because Papa will hear me. I want them to go home. Because this isn't their bed. I visit them a lot. Even though they don't talk back. They start looking scarier every day. Even Lady. I couldn't see her eyes anymore. I found Papa's book with the people's names on it. I want to use it to wake them up. But I can't break into the walls. I need his drill with the yellow handle. But my hands are too small to use it. I wish my baby sister was bigger so she could help me. But I'm going to do it all by myself when Papa is away. I hope he doesn't hear me. I don't want my eyeballs to fall out.